All right, folks, another Friday, Friday in the life of the world. So welcome one and all to this little hangout, Southwest Nigeria, Lagos, to be specific. I am Citizen Jones. Okay, then, today on the program, we have so many things for you. Fulani headsmen barred from carrying arms, and they're directed to surrender all arms uh, they might, them, you know, or weapons in their possession, just as Northwest governors grant amnesty to bandits. APC senators demand review of committee chairmen, just as a senator under fraud investigation gets named as anti-graft panel vice chair. Residents and others jittery as work begins on Lagos Ibadan Expressway on Monday, and later this one, Pastor Adeboye calls for prayers as gunmen kidnap five redeemed church pastors, the redeemed church pastors in Ijebu de Ogun State. I'm hanging out with Baba Jide Kolade Ujitoju. Jide, it's another Friday here. Yes, sir. Uh, it's, it's a day crazy, cra cra crazy thing about Fridays. Too close to a Monday, and a Monday is too far away from a Friday. Yes. I can't imagine it. Uh, we also have um, uh, Charles Idaho. Idaho, welcome. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, <laughs> that's my resident American. No, no, he said they stole the name Idaho. Yeah, they stole the name. Yes. <laughs> um, Omonijo is here. Uh, please, the team is ready. I hope you are. Now, yesterday on the program, we made some remarks on the costs of attacks, helicopter cost of attack helicopters, I should say, in the fleet of the Nigerian Air Force, and the state of the drones. Earlier today, spokesman of the Air Force, Ibikunle Daramola, spoke with Babajide Kolade Utitoju on the issues. We want to share that with you. Okay. Well, the, it was a caller, actually, that said um, the MI-35M, which is the main ground attack helicopter of the Nigerian Air Force, uh, does not cost more than five million dollars, and that he wonders why we cannot buy more. Okay. Now, the Air Force um, uh, officials watched the the program yesterday, and they, they, reacted. they reacted that that claim by the person who called us was not true. That each of the uh, MI. Uh, 35s cost in, uh, between 25 to 30 million dollars, and that um, they will continue to buy buy uh, uh, the, you, the, them you as get time goes to on. To buy this off the shelf, in yes, the yes, because uh, weapons are not bought uh, so uh, off the shelf. You have to demand for it. When you place another for it, then they will now go and. Uh, and uh, uh, manufacturing, just like even passenger planes. Okay. If Boeing comes out with a new passenger plane today, all the major airlines in the world will place orders, yes. you know, and it could take four years before it will be delivered to, to, to them. So that was what happened with the Dreamliner. Everyone placed order and then it got supplied. So, they are saying that it costs much more than $5 million um, to buy an MI-35 uh, from Russia. And secondly, we talked about the, the state of the drones on the fleet of the Air Force because uh, we felt that drones are going to be very useful at this time to track the enemies of the state, not just Boko Haram, mm. but even bandits and, bandits and, uh, <coughs> and uh, criminal headsmen who are on rampage in our country. And um, they told us that right now, the Air Force is um, servicing its drones. Okay. And that in the fullness of time, those drones will be back uh, in the air as, uh, and be useful to us the way they were useful uh, some months back. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, but gentlemen, you know, let's involve you quickly. This is an aside. Yeah. Mm. Um, you know, my trouble here is when the military deploys any new machine, any military machine, we advertise it. You, you think it's tactful? Well, I think for me, um, there are two ways to that. 
one of them is like uh, you're releasing uh, um, what you have uh, as, as, um, as a strategy. But on mm -hmm. the other hand, you also need to also put all this effort. So you don't have to frighten your enemy. Because mm -hmm. if your enemy knows that you have fire, uh, I mean, more, I mean, superior firepower, you could also, because it's about the warfare also allows that kind of thing to also do that. They went, once you place that and they know you have a, a, a superior firepower, it could also serve to also reduce whatever they are planning, knowing that if they try, if they dare anything, they might be roasted. Manager, why I ask this is, yesterday the news was out that the, 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 they have special tanks that will... Anti-mines. Uh, Anti-mines, you know. Oh. If you deploy that, keep quiet. Is it, it? Is the army that behaves like that? Let me tell you, in July, the, the Air Force acquired a new MI-35. They didn't mm -hmm. announce to anyone. Is the army, the other day, they got some light fire arms. Light fire, light uh, uh, arms. arms. Yeah. And they still, they were in, in the pallets, you know. You know, these are now more tanks that they yeah. were. But they still call the press, come and see the, the light, <laughs> light fire arms that we have acquired. I mean, uh, uh, it's just strange to me that we do this to yeah. ourselves. And if you remember what happened in Baga mm. some time ago, I think in 2014, when as soon as we received huge consignment of weapons, Boko Haram stormed the army base in yeah. Baga and chased uh, soldiers yeah. away. And Saddam, um, uh, what's his name? Shekau even made a video. He said, the weapons you have here are enough to win the war. But look at us, we are taking everything over. So well, this is the thing. I, I think, I think it's mm. wrong to do that, to call everybody's attention to the firepower that we have just acquired. Yeah. But I guess maybe sometimes they're under pressure that people think that they, they don't have work. anything, and that uh, maybe even blaming or abusing the government mm. that the money that is voted that there is nothing. Maybe they also. I'm just saying for their side mm. that maybe that's what goes them into doing it. But ordinarily, as a strategy, <coughs> it is wrong. Yeah. Okay, then let's uh, get to the business of the evening. You know, politicians do tend to think and act out of desperation. And so where basic government social responsibility to the people is uh, neglected or failing, the recourse to desperate moves becomes the option. You know, after a four and a half hour meeting of 11 northern governors and the police chief, Headsmen were on th you know, police, uh, police chief. Headsmen on Thursday were directed not to bear arms anymore whenever they were in public places. They are also to surrender all arms and ammunition in their possession. In addition to this, repentant bandits who embrace peace are promised amnesty. Now this puts you in a quandary of sorts. Are we talking about a magnanimity to offenders who would be too expensive to punish? Did that make sense to you? You know, you and I were here last week and um, we were discussing the, the peace moves in, in Zamfara. And I said, this may well turn out to be a national policy. That means negotiating with bandits. I knew that this would be expanded. I knew it would not simply be localized uh, um, in, in Zafara. So you've seen governors of no, uh, Northwest states coming together. I'm happy that actually six governors were expected yeah. by the host yeah. governor, yeah. but 11 of them showed up. That underlines the fact that everyone can see that we have a serious security problem yes. that needs to be addressed. But we also have to be careful. If we keep negotiating with bandits, and those negotiations come with a cost, mm. Sokoto announced that it will go ahead and negotiate with bandits. They are doing that already. So Kasina already too, Kasina is fully involved. Now, part of what the governors uh, talked about were the terms of the, uh, the uh, agreement, that OK, uh, this uh, headsman should no longer go around carrying uh, assault uh, weapons. So, and that, and the, and that the vigilante uh, group that they call Ensake, because mm. the Ensake are made up of Hausa. Okay. The, the bandits are Fulani. Okay, Fulani. So, the Ensake decided on their own to be kidnapping wives and children of Fulani because the Fulani bandits 
are the ones who go to the farmlands to okay mm. to abduct yeah uh, the, the, the house of farmers so it now became like okay do me i do you yeah so both camps have uh, abductees the by the terms of the agreement you will release the people that you are holding that's the answer key then the uh, the bandits the fulani bandits who also release the hausa uh, farmers that they have abducted from their farms and their villages so this is the the, the situation and the governor said okay let headsmen feel free to go to markets to move around in, in their communities as long as they are not bearing arms because when they are bearing arms uh, and attend you know the prayers, yeah, prayers. Yeah, prayers. Yeah. because when they bear arms then the other people will feel that look we are under threat yes. but the truth is how did the headsmen begin to bear arms they began to bear arms because of the constant uh, attack by bandits uh, uh, largely the cattle yeah, yeah. who are coming to steal yeah. so they needed to protect themselves <laughs> but the truth is the, the other people the bandits are by far better armed so it's usually not difficult for them to crush the NSAK or crush the okay. the okay. the the, uh, the uh, headsmen who are trying to protect their cattle so this is the thing is 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 a case of having a big problem on their hands and the governors confused about how to solve the problem because clearly we have not been able to use force to win the battle against banditry kidnapping and and those states casina zamfara when it comes to kidnapping in the country and kaduna yeah. they are they, they are on yeah, top of the ladder ahead hmm. so you can see clearly who has to be worried about this kidnapping, yeah. this problem. Charles, you know, uh, uh, forging a truce at a time like this, not a bad thing. But the angle I'm worried about is this. You negotiate with bandits. And when spirits are low, if you understand what I mean, when crackra no day again, what happens? They, something, yeah, what, what happens? Last week we showed uh, a footage where a, a known bandit was boasting yes. Yes. that he, he dared any soldier mm -hmm. to come to his own crib. Own they, they, can't even, they don't even know where he is. Nobody can even, nobody can even get to where he is. But I think, first of all, we, we, we must look at um, the issue uh, holistically that um, the very moment you introduce um, such um, um, games, you, you, what you have done is that you have made criminalities lucrative. And you are also looking at, you are also putting official stamp on criminality. So mm -hmm. all you need to do is that just rattle the authorities, go underground, come back, you rattle the authorities, you go underground, and then you are called to say, oh, no, do that no more, come see no more. All we need to do is that we want to pay you so that you can be of good, of good behavior. I mean, so I don't think it is something we need to encourage. The northern governments must be, as uh, Valier said, must be very careful. Because what we are doing is that they may have, as you said, assuming, for instance, the money, where the money is coming from to so let's assuage their anger, mm. let's assuage their violence. Then the money dries up. What do they do? And this, they no longer have the source of this money. What do oh, they yeah. do? They oh, take, yeah. they go back again to their trenches and they start and, even, and, even and on, you, on a you, great, great, greater you, scale. You start from, so, from the uh, top if, again. If you go back, to, if I go back home, where I mean, Nigeria, where I come from, when the issue of uh, amnesty was introduced by the late uh, Yaradua, we all applauded it. But do you know that it made a lot of of, of uh, microwave millionaires immediately. Oh, you have them, yes. You have them, so, and they became so, look, take a look at uh, 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 the Tompolo on, on this one. It, mm. our, at, as I speak today, we, it, when we had that problem, okay, we arresting him, we, they, we couldn't be arrested, because he became so rich that he was able to form even a private army around himself. Around, yes. So we must be very careful not to use, not to use government to money, to where he is. not to use government <laughs> money to now embolden criminals that we sh they should be even brought to book. America, America can, America, you might, you might be a criminal, but they will go after you. They will tell you, look, they will go after you. I think we should instead of this um, carrot and stick approach, we should yeah. go all out and let the criminal know that when they go wrong against the law, they will, the, the, that, the that, law will come hard that, upon them. That's it. Uh, our manager, you know, mine is. My people, the Bibi people, have a, a, a very a profound saying. They say, 
awo ke ben ekpo ke sen kidam aya ben mewo ikisio ekpo what do i mean ekpo obviously you know what ekpo means that the man we carry juju go put for stream that scared people away would lead the way that's right so what do i mean it is the politicians who brought this on us, we must not be afraid to say so. Yes, and yes. they can only, they are yes. the ones to lead the way mm -hmm. to, to, also to help us. Solution, that's what I mean. But I agree with you that we are really in serious crisis. Well, it's, 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 not, it's not a new thing, we've seen that. But for government, the, not that the state government and the police high chief or high command to come together and announce this. Is demonstrating that we lack capacity oh boy. Yes. to deal with the matter at hand. Yes. That we, are, we lack the capacity to deal with this matter. Uh, 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 sorry, if, if we didn't quite scapegoat the police, the police is supposed to, to lead the way in penetrating their ranks. That's, in so that's what I'm saying. No, well, yeah, that's not what right, 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 They are saying that, sorry, we failed to do that. And even we, we don't know how to go about it now. That's what I see in this. But I was, I'm also worried because at a point they announced that Many of these bandits, too, are not local. No? Cross-border. Yes. So how come we know them? How come we could do some form of negotiation with them? Does it mean we will also extend amnesty to them, even though they are not Nigerians? We use Nigerian money to empower foreigners in our midst. It's a, it's a, We've it's always known a major them. problem. And the money you pay them, I hear m much of the money is uh, deployed to buying arms. Again, to, to start fighting against state, state and, 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 and how permanent could this be? Oh, that is, uh, how permanent I, I, could it be? I doubt if anyone because can say it's permanent. They have millions. They, 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 they will settle for thousands again. And, and in foreign currency. We like, had amnesty in, in, Zafra, in Kassina. Um, really, Governor Masari took over. Yeah. And it was uh, the secretary governor of the, uh, of the state, secretary governor of the state, Doctor uh, Mustafa Inua, that headed the, yeah. the, the the amnesty committee. They gave amnesty to bandits. Then the casino had peace for a while. For a while, the moment they began to bombard these bandits in Zamfara with the air force and the army, uh, bringing their mm -hmm. big guns, mm -hmm. they they moved into. Casino. Casino, because those states are, are, are well, located close to one another. So they moved into Casino and, and continue to kill people. So today, Casino is no longer safe. In fact, they attack people more in Casino now than even Zamfara. So that's why no one can say, apart from Kano, that gave amnesty to Katu Rosler's hand, you cannot really say that since mm -hmm. then, mm -hmm. that those guys are still operating. At least in that axis. At some point, even, <laughs> even Governor Yari at a point came up with the idea of amnesty for them. He even made the head of the bandits at that time. They call him Buhari, uh, Buhari Daji. He made him a special assistant. He gave him hillocks and other things. But Buhari Daji, Buhari Daji still continued to terrorize people. Uh, apart from that, until he was killed by another a rival uh, bandit. Apart from that, when banditry become particularly attractive in other states that are not yet in the in the basket now, because they consider this the shortcut to making money from official sources. I also want to quickly add here that uh, while Masari's um, olive branch may be encouraging, but I think the statement he made is not is not. Um, all a compassing, okay? Mm -hmm. But what he said that this ban or full and enhancement must not bear arm in public places. Yeah. When you underline in public places, <laughs> in public the question places. is, can they bear arm at other places? They can, they if they can, arms, if they can bear arm their own arm in other that places. But so, in the same breath, yes. he's saying they should give up their weapons. Yeah. Uh, well, but again, they give up their weapon. That is those who uh, are ready to surrender know, their not weapons. All weapons. Not all of them will be surrendered, exactly. Because the most how these things be bad because you never can for contingencies for a, a, a time. Because sometimes if, if, you, if they, they will need to fight back in most cases. Yes. So they, they hold this thing back. So I think if, if you want to have a, a, a broader perspective to this. They should right? not carry arms they should at, carry arm at all. At all. Don't, don't say uh, uh, public places. It must be everywhere. They That's must it. not be seen. The ownership of arms that are not licensed. It's always been criminal. 
You so know, what are I we think the president about? even said so when he visited uh, Ma, uh, Mambila after the, the yeah, Taraba, killings yeah. there, yeah. you know, between the Fulani and the natives. Yeah. He said any headsman seen with an AK forty seven yeah. should, should be apprehended. Be, yeah. And yeah. we've seen police commissioners, including the former police yeah. commissioner yeah. of uh, Kasina. You know, the one who was sent to Kano, that slim okay. man. Yeah, yeah. That Gombe man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Going after headsmen and uh, uh, relieving them of their weapons, of their uh, dangerous weapons, like guns and all that. Because yeah. oh, okay. if you don't do that, if a Fulani headsman becomes a victim of cattle rustling, out of anger, he could on his own use the weapon that he mm -hmm. has to begin to kidnap people. That, that's We've it. even seen that's some it. of them who came out to say, look, I was a victim of cattle rustling. Now I, I took to kidnapping mm -hmm. no, and so used bad. the process of kidnapping to go to, back again to, 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 yes, to go back to my cattle business. Uh, uh, all right, gentlemen, the debate must continue. Mm -hmm. Ours is to provoke them and yours is to uh, pick them up and make up your mind. But I dare say in this connection, River State is not the same again, right from the time of Dr. Peter Odili. Mm -hmm. yes. If you remember, yes, exactly. banditry started like a child's yes, play. And, and River it escalated, and that, today that's now it. we can contain it. You have cultists, you have all kinds of. All, of, uh, all manner of all, uh, And these things are man made. They are man made. No, it is the politicians <laughs> who created this problem. The okay, then, you know, we are definitely living in interesting times in our country. Apologies to the German philosopher Friedrich. Hegel, who is the author of this old English expression, the Ninth Senate, not uncharacteristic, uh, not uncharacteristically though, has had its baptism of fire over positions and placements. Red Chamber members of the APC are miffed about assignments to the 69 standing committees of the Senate, with many of them accusing the leadership of betrayal. The lawmakers under the aegis of the Ninth Senate Group for Good Governance feel heavily betrayed in spite of their financial and moral efforts to ensure the emergence of Ahmed Lawan as the number three man in the country. Meanwhile, Senator Ali Wamako, um, uh, representing Sokoto North, and who has a case with the EFCC over an alleged 15 billion naira uh, fraud, is vice chairman of EFCC Senate Committee. <laughs> That's like a carousel, you know. <laughs> Oh boy. I, I don't know whether to call it uh, an aberration or um it's an irony. Okay. You know? Uh, 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 not uh, irony. Uh, irony. Uh, irony. <laughs> I wanted the word a simple okay, word yeah, that right. everyone will understand. It's simply an irony that um, you will send uh, Margaret Akadawamako to become vice chairman of uh, the committee. Ah. But you see, that's not the first time it's happened in that Senate. And usually when you do that, it's meant to muzzle the anti-corruption body mm -hmm. to the point that they can no longer deliberate. do anything to is it that, deliberate? that particular person. Is it deliberate? Sometimes, I sometimes it's, I don't know whether this particular one was deliberate, so that I don't commit sin. But I know that it has <laughs> happened in the past. <laughs> and at the end of the day, there was a senator who on election day was arrested, you know, uh, with uh, ballot materials and all that. Do you know that they now sent the same senator to go and uh, oversight INE. <laughs> when they say, when INE had a case against him. <laughs> Jide, <laughs> if he gave them talk. <laughs> my people in my so how do, how do you, when, when you say they, who are these they? The people. And can you spell it? The people. Who are this day? You see, the people. The people. The leadership now. Who appoint committee chairman and vice chairman. You okay. know, because it, 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 it can't be one man's job. No, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. So I'm sure that even Lawan will take advice from some people. So those are the people who misadvise our, our leaders in government. We should at least be able to give them credit, inverted commas, credit in inverted commas for the mis, mis, uh, 
uh, for the bad advice that they give these people. Oh, so how does he now oversight yes. INEC that ought mm -hmm. to be able to bring a matter against him to court? Oh, so boy. today, I no longer hear about that matter. But I remember that on election day, that <laughs> senator, <laughs> it 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 you remember, yes, you know, that senator from the East, he made headlines. So some of these things we may sit down and think that oh maybe it was a mistake. <coughs> Politicians don't always make mistakes. Oh, you never hear say in politics stupidity is not a handicap. Oh, no, they, yeah, they could do like yeah, most things, but they know what they are doing. <laughs> <laughs> they are not like the rest of us, you know. Well, yeah, right, right. So, yeah, these are politicians are a special breed. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is the thing. Now, uh, as for the issue of uh, committees. They say some committees, about 23 committees are juicy. Mm. Uh, and 16 are more juicy. juicy. Or juicier. Uh, or 16 are juicy. And maybe, yeah. maybe yeah. easier than the rest. Uh, the maybe a fraction of that 16 are juiciest of them. Uh, uh, yes, 16. <laughs> so, at the end of the day, the, the APC took uh, 16 of those juicy, most juicy committees no, no, and left the rest. Have you heard the word? No, 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 yes. And left the rest for, <laughs> for the uh, PDP. Now, okay. what, the, what is particularly painful to some APC members in the Senate is that out of 44 PDP members, 20 of them got chairmanship uh, positions. positions for those committees. And when you now look at uh, hmm. the, uh, on the flip side, you see that 19 of the remaining APC members don't even have, hmm. they are not chairing any committee. But it's not possible for every APC for, member for the, for to chair a committee. Yeah, 66 minus 44 leaves you no, with... 69. Uh, 69. Uh, 69 minus 44 leaves you with how many? 20... That's about 20? 25 or something. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm saying is that the... Not all APC members can chair a committee. Not possible. So the man, the Lawan has done the right thing. You can't look at a PDP and say, oh, 20 out of 44 got... Mm. and then be complaining about uh, the mm. 19 mm. that were not made cha uh, chairman. At least they will be members of the committee, some of them will be vice chairman yeah. and all that. So this is, I really don't see any need for this thing. If it is actually service that propelled them to go into the Senate yeah. in the first place, yeah. they shouldn't be quarreling about uh, committees. Even if it is service to themselves, they, they won't fight over it now. So and it will be modesty, that. That's it. Even in service to themselves, so show modesty. Um, Charles, you know, mine is some of these APC guys are threatening fireworks when they resume. Well, I, I think uh, the timing may not. The timing may not be favorable to them. Okay, it's fifteen that were shot out, mm. not yes. nineteen. Fifteen. You see, the timing may not be favorable to them because by the time they resume, uh, as they say back here in Nigeria, a lot of I mean, a lot of water would have passed under the bridge mm. without well, washing how, how, away the bridge. Uh, without the bridge, the bridge will remain. Yeah. Uh, that's Lawa is the bridge now. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I think when we look at it um, critically, um, I think I want to tie in to what Jire said earlier. Those people who are complaining that they have been shot out, that they spent money, they even at at the risk of their own lives and so they they fought to to assure the emergence of Lawa as the as the Senate president. So they, has, they, they had expected that um, it was only natural for them to be, to be re to remembered in court. But the question is that what you are doing, I, we thought back here mm. that the fighting for Lawan to emerge was for us to have a credible leadership for the, the Senate. So we didn't know that it was just do that and then you come back to me. Or, for you to or if you like a departure from yesterday. A departure from yesterday. But well, Lawan all of them, they have, part of the, they have a part of the yester years. Mm -hmm. So there's no way you can have a departure. People who are players of the yester years, they can't, they, there's no way they can, they can have any, any, any serious departure. But I also want to look at um, the, the issue on ground. I think we need to let them know, most of them are watching and listening that they should shift their sword and wait, and then what we need to do is to all put hands together
to ensure that they work and support those who are there because everything they do is going to take Nigeria from point A to point B. So rather than say, okay, I want to look at this thing that, something that's going to help me personally. But I do know that why most of them are fighting for committee cha chairmanship is if you are a chairman of a committee, for instance, I mean, the, 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 the synonym for, for oversighting is supervision, right? Mm. When you are supervising, uh, you are oversighting, you are supervising a particular uh, 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 yes. maybe ministry, mm. you know, you have, you have a lot of power. Mm -hmm. Back home, your constituents, they want a job, you can employ people. Mm. So if you don't have it, you're only a member of a committee, mm. your, power, your powers are limited. Your, your area of influence are limited. So that's why most of them are fighting tooth and nail to ensure that they emerge. Whether juicy or not juicy, whatever they're doing, they, they have uh, that uh, responsibility back home uh, for their, uh, to their constituents. Uh, uh, Omaninja, I beg, we'll take this break now because we must make some money. That's what the backroom boys are telling me. <laughs> so, so we must go on this break and return, but please stay. All right, then, uh, we go back to uh, the discussion. Senators demand a review of committee chairman at the Senate. Uh, the most aggrieved, APC senators. Um, Mobalade, you know, uh, uh, let's see. According, you know, according to the Chairman Center for Anti-Corruption and Open Leadership, that's Kakol, Debo de, de Adenio, he says by making former Governor Wamako, chairman of uh, vice the chairman. Vice, vice chairman of the anti Corruption. that that case is dead. You share the sentiment? Ah, that's the essence of putting him there. Oh. It was not by mistake. There's no, it doesn't happen. It was not happenstance. <laughs> Maybe it's still the same who they, they, they. There are political <laughs> leaders who decide some of these things. Mm. And Wamako played a role in the emergence of the current leadership. Yeah. And they needed to be compensated in their own way. Mm. So they decided, okay, what can we do to ensure that? Because they know that that sort of Damakus is hanging over mm. his neck. Mm -hmm. So they had to do something. So if he was chairman of, say, Youth and Sports, uh, it wouldn't no be direct. He could have some influence, maybe, but not okay. direct. Now, okay. he will go there to go and, and he will summon the chairman of mm -hmm. EFCC mm -hmm. and ICPC mm -hmm. to come and explain mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. And he will fire questions mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So you begin to see mm -hmm. him almost like a boss mm -hmm. of the EFCC. Mm -hmm. It will certainly have some effect. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate. That's where things work. So sharing spoils, GD, is the name of the game. Yes. Yes. So yes. when you bring the meat home, Mm -hmm. uh, you share who gets what and so on. It's not about public interest. No, it's not. It's interest. not. Uh, it's okay. Not public. Uh, these things. They are, remember, the EFCC claimed that they had successfully traced about one seven, one point seven billion to yeah. his account. So it, uh, yeah. Payments made by people that related to his account. Um, don't also forget that even one of the nominees for the. Um, uh, the nominee from Sokoto, who is also uh, someone close to Wamako now, he used to be close to uh, Atairu Bafarawa, but okay, he fell out. Okay. That's the, yes, the uh, former governorship candidate of the yeah, DPP yeah. in that state. Yeah. The governor of Sokoto now gave him, um, um, is it amnesty that they will call it? A kind of a state po pardon. Political amnesty. State pardon. <laughs> but some people went to court yeah. to say no. Dean Giard is being uh, tried for mm. corruption. Why should Why you should give, give him a state pardon? He's been accused of corruption. Why should we give him a state pardon? And the courts ruled that the state pardon that the governor of Sokoto State gave uh, Dean Giard was illegal. Mm -hmm. But that same man mm. was nominated uh, as a minister. He still has the case hanging on his neck by virtue uh, of the uh, fact uh, that the courts. Uh, as if he's the only one. Yes, uh, by virtue of the fact. Even he had, you know, it was uh, before then. It was uh, Yusuf Suleiman whose mm. name was on the list. Yeah, that's At the it. last minute, that's right. uh, changes okay. happened. You know, so for the court to have said that that pardon was illegal because. I say case. That's like saying that he had a case to answer. Mm -hmm. That's like validating the case of corruption yeah, against him. 
But we still went ahead and uh, um, uh, uh, put him on the list of uh, ministers. So we still have a long way to go in, in, in defeating corruption. We cannot defeat corruption if we go on like this. We will just, uh, we will just do our bit and leave the rest and, for... And leave the baton to the next... Uh, next, the next uh, uh, and of course, um, this is not the time to begin to hear things like, it is well, because it is not well. No, no. well uh, it, it is it, not it well. It is just self-consolation. Self uh, I beg, don't... We deceive ourselves when we say it. We know it is not well, but we say it. We know it is not well. But, but then, let's uh, uh, take this home. Senate spokesman Adid, Adid Dayo, Adiye, has said those aggrieved members of the party must exercise restraint and that nobody, no, no senator had complained directly to him. Does it matter anymore? To who? No, to, no, him, no, to him, to him. Uh, no, you can't complain to IDAA now. Can't. Is he the one who drew no, up the not the You wow. can complain to the Senate yes, president yes. on behalf of the Senate as an institution, not to the spokesman of the Senate. Okay. And he's trying to play it down to just say it's yeah. a media affair. He's yes. just the only in the media. No, they have you boys, you know. Like the one, they want the case of someone who was said to be interested in uh, appropriation and yes. got something else. Okay. I actually had that one from a reliable source that he was not happy at all. Imagine because that was not what he was. What uh, he wanted, exactly. That's no, not what he wanted. Also, ah. that, there is no way you will do that. There will not be some rancor. Yes. Oh, yeah. No, okay. No, okay. Because, like you said, there is also categorization. You are made yeah. the chairman. Yeah of youth and sports, and you think that what you should have is works. That would be some things. Oh, all, all right then, so, but again, all these are to arm you, just so you are able to make up your mind. Let's uh, go to the next story. You know, the story of the Lagos Ibadan Expressway, perhaps the busiest in West Africa, is so epileptic, you don't know where to start. The planned partial closure of the part of the expressway has been moved from Monday, the 5th of August to September. Now you know that. Julius Berger, one of the two contractors, says works on that portion of the road, you know, plagued road, that is the Lagos Shagamu interchange, might not commence as it initially projected. Residents who live along the stretch are distressed owing to the diversions on the cards. So, paucity of funds and a recent review of the original construction plan are some of the drawbacks bedeviling the 20-year-old construction work. Are we looking at a 2021 compl comp a completion date? Can I we wait? I, 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 I don't know whether we'll be able to deliver that road in 2021. Uh, in this part of the country, the rainy season is extensive. It's not like uh, northern Nigeria where you can say the rainy season, maybe there's three months, as mm. the case may be. But the time that you actually have to do consistent, solid work in this part of the country is no more than three months that you are sure you won't be dis uh, disrupted by rain, you know, that you are, you are confident. That's in the dry season. That's not well, up to March. Also. Yeah, it's not even up to no, March no, anymore. No, no, no. It's not up to March. These days, even in January, we experience rainfall. Mm -hmm. The whole, uh, um, uh, those things that we that were very predictable about our climate has changed. Has changed. So the time that they have to do consistent work is very limited in a year, maybe just about three months, you know? So, so, so sorry, the so-called August break. We should forget oh, no, it. No, 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 no. There are times, that, that, that August break, you know, is now inverted. Yes. Yeah. It's not like before. So they really do not have so much time. In a year, maybe three months to do consistent work. And then from the beginning, Julius Raja had really delayed his own portion of the work. If you, if you, if you move, if you're moving from, from uh, Shagam to Ibadan, you see from the beginning, yes, yes. RCC. RCC had done yes, so extensive much. work. Mm -hmm. It could well be that well, everyone knows that Julius Baja in our country is usually the, the first choice. He's a big boy. Yeah, so they get far more jobs than the other people. Ju juicy jobs. So, mm -hmm. Yes, juicy jobs. Even individuals, uh, yeah. Nigerians, yeah. Um, give them jobs mm -hmm. to do. People in government, they go and build this house for me. You know, it's not just public contracts alone that they get. So. And then the issue of funds. When uh, do you uh, release funds to these people to ensure that they can start work? It's 
is a big problem in the country. Uh, you have a situation in which, even throughout the year, funds may not be released to contractors. I think Faisola was talking about that uh, the other day. And ideally, and I think that was what Jonathan wanted to do when he said the funding of this highway should be by, uh, from the infrastructure bank. I okay. don't know whether okay. the current administration uh, has, has sustained that idea because that was the, the safest guarantee that it would not be abandoned at any point. Yeah. That work would due, go due to funding. Now, yeah. the, this, this uh, stretch of the road, this is uh, the Shagamo Lagos corridor, is where you have more people staying, yes. more people resident. Even in. the traffic is the traffic heavier. is heavier on that side. So any time, whether it is postponed to September or next year, it's like postponing the evil day. Yeah. We will still have to suffer so that the road gets done. That's mm -hmm. no, we do not have. And you cannot look to your right and to your left and see and say, okay, this is an alternative route yeah. that you can take. Except you want to go through Songo and from Songo uh, uh, go get to Abekuta. Uh, let let, let me bring a money joint to it. The alternative routes or corridors, <laughs> Ekbe, Aja, <laughs> Ijebode, look at that axis. Mm -hmm. And then you have the Lagos. Said, you can't look to your left and your right. Lagos, Ota. Itori, Abi. Itori. Itori. Okay. It, no, not TikTok, Itori. Okay. Itori. And then yeah. down to E4 and... And then Abelkuta and Ikorodu Road. Mm. We don't have Far any floor. road. Mm. That's the truth. Just try, try this Lagos Abelkuta Road. Mm. And you, you'll be sorry it's for terrible. your car. It's terrible. You'll be sorry for your that car. That song go... That yes. One. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't even uh, consider it. That so, the, the, and you know that road was built by Julius Raja. Yes. The same Julius Raja. Julius Raja can maintenance. give you... <laughs> He can give the maintenance. You, he can give you. Los you know, Roger built this um, Kudira at Abiola way, and they told the government of the time, Tinubu's government, that for more than 20 years you won't see a pothole on that road. Yes, so it it, and that's and what it, has it, happened. It, it, yes, it's 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 Los Roger yes. built a Gondo road mm, yes. and gave the same guarantee that. Yes. For more than 20 years, you will not see a single pothole mm. on that mm. road. But and that's what we have. Mm. But go and look at Songo that the same Julius Baja constructed. The road failed, the road uh, failed after design. just Maturely. a few Maturely. years. Maturely. So I don't know how, 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 how I, know, I think there, there must be complicity because uh, sometimes um, there's also juicy contract mm -hmm. and then there are people who are also interested in the juicy funding that we are looking for because more, in most cases, when you look at it... Oh, you told that this is what you can listen, afford. That's, uh, that is that's what I'm saying. It, it depends on some that's, that's it's funding. It. Because most of them, they build, they, build in, they build in a lot of overhead within it. So that by the time you now sip, oh, uh, sip away the overhead that will come to private pocket, mm -hmm. what is left for them to execute the project is, is just small. That's why you no, have that's many failed there. That's, that's one angle. That's, that's the it. other angle is that there are some roads that require so much more attention. Maybe you have water, maybe you have yes. a dollar. All those things are there. Mm. But when you build it into the contract, then you would have taken it into consideration. But when you do not factor it in, mm. then you suffer it along the line. It will not but last I, as long I, as you I, want. I still, I still think that the, all these alternative rules that have been railed out. No, they are not really alternative. No, well, okay, let's, let's call them. They are no longer okay, alternative. Okay, they used to be. Other routes. I have mm. other routes. <laughs> let's, 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 let's call them other routes. Because what we need, to, what I think needs to be done is that whether we like it or not, this road, when we postpone, then we are postponing doomsday. Because the economic activities on that road is Except they work at night. Except they work at night. No, no but they, you know there was a time it was suggested that they should work at night. Yeah. Then they, they said no, for security reasons, yeah. they can't yeah. even consider that. Uh, but yeah. who's, yeah. Going, who's, who's going to rob uh, somebody who is... Uh, who is uh, they'll rob uh, they'll rob uh, they'll 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 No, no, no. Charles, don't, Charles, don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. Uh, they kidnap construction workers. But, but gen gentlemen, mine is... 1999 through to now, 20 years yes, on. Absolutely. It's that road, it's, it's like the road is being punished for a sin it committed. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I don't uh, know. It's, it's, but it's, it's it's you can't I don't know. But, but I, I think it's, the Gullet government just own up to say, look, let's, for the very first time, give the people what they desire or what they deserve. Mm. That is to make sure that that road is fixed. If we no, have in to terms of the quality of the roads. Yes. 
from what we see, the Sagamo is saying that it's very thin. But what I'm saying is that it will last. What we need to do is that if we need to suffer for the next three years, for, this, for, for us to be given that road that will last for another 30, 30 mm. years, mm. Yeah. Mm. So not mind. Mm. But, but when you start postponing, oh, because of this, I, I think we are postponing. Those no, they are trying to, I'm sure they are trying to ensure that people, we are done with Salah, the oh, okay, okay, Salah, okay, and okay, all that right, before. Uh, okay, because uh, of the, the, the redemption the, camp. The, uh, traffic, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and of course, the uh, volume of traffic. just talked about three years and so on. Zebediah said, if you permit this, when Jagada Shokoya was yapping him, the man was busy snuffing. And after listening to him, Zebudaya said, I have seen 99 <laughs> who are 100. Well, okay. but <laughs> we, we don't see more than 99. I uh, think they should help us. <laughs> mm. I, I, I beg, make one help us. I beg, I beg, I beg. I beg. Uh, even if we no use the road. OK, then, um, let's go here. You know, the redeemed Christian Church of God is in the news, not for apostolic reasons, but for offbeat grounds, on, on, on offbeat grounds. Five pastors of the fold on their way to the church minister's conference in Lagos were kidnapped by bandits yesterday along the Jebude axis. Now, consequent upon this, the general overseer of the RCCG worldwide, Pastor Enoch Adeboye, has charged the members of the flock to pray for their release. As a father, this is what he said, how do you think I should feel to hear five of my children being kidnapped while on the way to attend the minister's conference? End quote. Now, the anointed have been brutally touched. May they, may they not be harmed. Yes. Meanwhile, God's admonition is that uh, you should do his no anointed no harm. A prophet. The prophet. And that you should not touch <laughs> his anointed. Okay. So, those who have uh, flagrantly touched God's anointed, touched God's anointed <laughs> must be ready. Yes. Must be made to God's pay. Shot. Must be made to pay for touching God's anointed. Okay, you don't pray for your enemies anymore. No, it's not at all times that you pray for your enemies. No, you okay. don't pray for them to no. continue in their thing. Yes, you okay. pray. You for pray them that to God change. will touch them. Yeah, you mm. pray for them to, to, for restitution exactly. and them. Well, uh, for touch for them for while he's, they are holding God's children. Well, uh, for recompense. Touching yeah, them well. also can get for the release. You see, but the point is, it's a very serious matter that we are discussing. It is, it is. It, it is. is a very serious it is. matter. It is. Because it's showing that this is... This is escalating. Yeah, it's escalating. Exactly. It can't get anywhere. Uh, it's not the first time they will kidnap people. One uh, Reverend Father in uh, Inugu, I think, mm. uh, Reverend yeah. Father Ufu, shot. has just been shot dead. Um, quite a number of Catholic uh, priests have yeah, been abducted yeah, yeah, at yeah, one exactly. time or the other. So everywhere you've been having it. It's a shame that this thing is getting everywhere. Pastor Adeboye has said we should pray, and indeed we should pray, <coughs> but even much more than that, our advocacy also should move up. We should advocate for a safer and saner society. It should be a right. Okay. But I, 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 I don't citizen. think, for, for me, um, before now, the clergy, members of the clergy were uh, sort of insulated from some of these things. Or so you thought? They were not. No, so no, it was. They've, they've no, never they were, been insulated. No, what I mean, okay, so it seemed then because there was hardly any attention on their part when it, when it came to uh, kidnapping us at that time. But now they're becoming endangered. Mm -hmm. The clerics of the, of the Muslim faith, the uh, Islamic faith, clerics of the Christian faith, are no longer safe. Mm -hmm. But I think prayer, prayer is, just, is just one leg of the solution we must seek. Because on the one, when you are praying on the one hand, on the other hand, you must ask, uh, ask, ask the authority to also up, the, up his game. In, in Israel, where, where this faith uh, uh, came from, Israel will not talk about prayer, first of all. They will first of all ask the authority to go after whoever has committed crimes. Yes. but they are, they are... And they will demolish... They will demo they, honestly. They, so Israel is a little joke with that. Tit for tat. That's it. I'm, are you mm. saying, I mean, that's where we all borrow this Christianity and yeah. all these things yeah. from. So prayer is one. If we just say, okay, let's pray, let's pray, and then we pray, they may be released. But the question is that the remote causes, the remote causes, have, have, yeah. they, have, they yeah. have they been addressed? They are still there. So that's, that's, that's what worries me. Has it occurred to you, Gide, to think that since th that kidnapping is an advanced form of armed robbery? Because yeah, it's, it's, since, it's since people don't... Form of brigandage. Mm -hmm. And brigandage. Since you don't carry so much cash anymore, mm -hmm. uh, abduct or manager, 
No be you. And you are likely to and make the money go come out. I've been abducted before, so it's not. A, it's not new. It's, it's not a new thing. thing. So you, you, you are likely to make money. I'm not afraid that it happens again. <laughs> but just think it's something that's so perfect. No, no, but but seriously, yeah. we are told by the criminologists. Society will prepare the crime, the criminal we, we, will, will commit, commit it. it yeah. So we are in, it's like, we are, like, like you are watching a, a bad film. Yeah, I yeah. agree with you. A horror film. Yeah, I right. agree. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. Yes. You know, see, in, in even, suppose even, peace even, time, uh, we should watch peace time free. I don't think we can call this peace time. Relative, relative, uh, peace time relative. I don't relative. think we can call this peace time. But you can call it war time. We have been, we have been. Oh, but internally, internally, we are at war. We are at war. Internally, we are at war. We are at war. We are buffeted at every corner by bandits, by, by headsmen, by insurgents. Uh, insurgents, Boko Haram insurgents. They are a lot stronger now. They mm -hmm. are weapons that uh, were not in their inventory in the past. They are killing soldiers for fun. So we are at war. Who says we are not at war? You can't move freely from here now to Elisha. Mm -hmm. You can't move freely to go and do your party uh, in uh, Akure or even in Adwekiti. Whereas to for, for a lot of people, it was fun to travel. Road yeah, travel. They, 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 travel uh, yes, it was fun. Yeah, yeah. You get, you, you yeah. get to know your country oh, more. Even night travel. Yeah, night yeah. travel, yeah. you get to know your country yeah. more. Some, two months ago, they, we were they, traveling they, from they Akure to Akure. We were, we were traveling from Akure to Akure to Akure. To when we were coming back, even the, my guy, my friend was driving. We were driving at a breakneck speed. I said, he said, if anything happens here, we are we are we are we are done for. We, we and that road was was I mean it's not a very good road. I mean between uh, Akure and uh, and the Adokiti, we were, we were we were practically flying. But again, we must look at um, what has brought us here. We must own up that we have failed. I mean, the government has failed society. We must own up. Mm -hmm. Then all this blame game about, oh, uh, we must do No, if we own up that we have failed, that's where exactly where we want to know what oh, yeah. do we do to get out of the quagmire. In the quagmire, okay, the, the thing that's different from, from war, the war situation is that there is no glaring insurrection within the system. That's the only link, that's the only missing link. But whether we are not at war, we are at war. Because it's a type of war for you to be buffeted by exactly. armed banditry in, in, in the West. You are buffeted by uh, uh, kidnapping in the Southwest, buffeted by banditry everywhere. What we are, we, they, are, they are caving us no, in. No we are told, we are no told as it is, and that's war. And, and no this, this, if, uh, Omanoja, this, these are the people who you catch them tomorrow, you are beginning to, 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 to negotiate. negotiate. <laughs> uh, 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 that, that's what you can't even understand. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. if you begin to negotiate with bandits, negotiate with insurgents, Boko Haram, you negotiate with uh, kidnappers. With and events so and the rest of them. You, and you use the money of the, of the innocents. Uh, they'll yeah. please them. They'll please them. And they're not turning against, against you. That, that, that's <laughs> okay. Hmm. We share we share the anxiety, we share the uh, grief, I use the word loosely now, yes. of the RCCG. We wish you well, and we talk to bandits. Please, go and repent. I see no more. Otherwise, if you keep remaining in sin, it is good night. All right, we must pack it all in here. Yeah. Uh, Jide, you are looking forward to it. So, Friday night. So, you, so you taking well. me out? Uh, no. But we can't get show, to a kitchen. Showing your color. <laughs> Good. Um, uh, this is this no, is no. the best you time. You no. you, if you if you <laughs> reneach, go go go. If you reneach, you let you let go and fetch yourself. I will send, send the you. bills to us. Who are the us? Who are the us? I will expose you before night. You didn't ask him who are the us. If you reneach on your promise, okay. If you reneach on your promise to take me out today. We'll, on Monday, we'll, we'll go out. On no Monday, I'll tell Nigeria. No, no. Uh, we'll go out, but no drinking. <laughs> uh, so, what are we going to do? Now? <laughs> where, are, where are we Let, going? Let's, let's, what's the outing without drinking? What's the outing without drinking, Jones? We'll discuss our country. <laughs> yeah. uh, but seriously, um, Jide um, Otitoju, wish you a lovely weekend because you, you need it. Thank you so Charles much. Charles Idaho, you need a better weekend That's right. than That's last right. one. That's right. Thank and you. what about Omoni? I, I, I never really knew you. They, they picked you. And they freed you. You, that's, you, you that's pay a long money. Time. That was before this time. Anyway. Okay, yes. okay. So money no pl plenty. <laughs> that has nothing to do with money. <laughs> because God intervened. Amen. Okay then. All right. So we'll just uh, drop anchor here for the day and the week. We want to thank you. If you missed a portion of this program, you can mm. also watch the program on other platforms. We'll show you on the screen and on YouTube at youtube.com/slash. 
TVC News Nigeria, the feedback channel remains the same. And so on behalf of everybody here, including the backroom boys, this is Citizen Jones Usain. Bye-bye now.